Hi guys, my name is Amanda. Oh my gosh, my nails. Just ignore them. They're looking really crusty because I just took off all the acrylics off my nails. Anyway, hi guys, my name is Amanda and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going through my 2021 planner and journal lineup. Uh, quick disclaimer, just, just respect the stack and I'll respect your stack. Um, nothing else more to say. Uh, but really quickly before we get into the video, make sure you like and subscribe and let's talk planners. So first off, we're gonna be talking about everything that I use um, in my home setting. So anything that I use primarily in my house um, for different types of planning. So first off, we're gonna start off with my, with my, uh, Happy Planner Classic, classic Catch-All. Oh, this is my uh, Happy Planner Classic Catch-All. This is basically home base for me. Anything that's going on in my life gets put into this planner. So right now I currently have only three planners in here. I have what's called the Linear Florals, which looks something like this. And the Weeklies look like that. And then I have the Girls with Goals. Uh, setting pack I haven't dated it yet so don't come for me but it's basically like this goal setting hourly layout I have the stickers right here to do it and then I just have a budgeting section because those are the three things that I need to focus on goals anything that's going on in my life and then budgeting and then I just have no paper in the back but I will do a more in-depth flip through of this on my channel at a later time. So please make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any updates from my channel. Next up on the lineup is going to be my social media planner. So this right here is a, I'm not really, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that on there. This is a Nolte V6 planner. And basically this is gonna be my social media and YouTube planner mainly for Instagram because right now I'm really big on Instagram I like well not like like I'm famous but like I really am when it comes to social media I'm more of an Instagram person than I am a YouTube planner so a quick flip through of this is there's your year at a glance for 2020 through 2022 yeah, yearly plan, which I'll be using this to track my followers and subscribers, like any milestones, you know. And then here I have, a, this is a yearly calendar, and this runs from December 2020 all the way through January 2022. Or no, March, I'm sorry, March 2022. And basically you get this regular calendar view and then a perpetual calendar. And in the perpetual calendar, I'll be keeping track of my IG posts. And then in this calendar view, I'll be keeping track of Facebook page, of my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. And then the weeklies look like this. You get like these two sections. So you get your weekly dates and it comes with two little sections underneath and then it has this big open grid space. Up here, I post, I put my YouTube videos that I'm gonna be posting that day or videos that I'm planning on filming that day. And then below it, I will put what I have ideas, what I'm gonna use, what I'm gonna post on my IG. Right now, my goal is to post five times a week on IG and to post two to three times on YouTube. So that's the goal. And then Facebook is kind of like, it's kind of like when I have a moment or if it's a special event, I'll use my Facebook page but I'm really trying to elevate that. And then this is for brainstorming here at the bottom. And then you get all these extra grid pages here in the back, as well as this extra little insert notebook that comes with your planner. It doesn't come at an additional cost. And I did order this off of, uh, off of Amazon Japan. So it was a little hefty for the for the shipping, but I think it was totally worth it. And just in case you're wondering, this does come in a five size. Okay, next up on my planner lineup, I have my Muji B6 notebook. I know I'm really into the B6 planners right now. And this is in the color gray white. And this basically is gonna be for my side hustle. This is my side hustle planner. So anything that I'm doing to make a little extra income goes in here. So all my Etsy plans, all my Mercari, Poshmark, eBay, all those things will be going in here. Um, I did not wanna include social media or Instagram in here just because um, those are things that 
are kind of an entity in itself, so I need something separate, but I wanted it to be very simple as well. So it has your year at a glance for 2020 through 2022, your uh, yearly calendar, your uh, perpetual yearly log, and I'm gonna use this to track revenue. And then you have a calendar, and this one goes from December 2020 all the way through January 2022. And I'm gonna use this to track shipments and any updates or um, uh, when I make a sale, you know, that kind of deal. And then your weekly layout looks like this. You get a weekly, it's basically like a Hobonichi Weeks except very uh, much wider because a Hobonichi Weeks is pretty much like B6 super slim and this is a B6. So you get your week over here on the left and then on the right you get a grid. And basically I'll be using this to track any expenses, um, any income, I'll be using it to track whether I need supplies, like I have to pick up more packaging, more paper, ink, that kind of thing will go in here. And then this will be just for brainstorming because I do plan on creating my own stickers this year for Etsy as well as some other items. So you have to stay tuned for that because I will be probably doing a video when I'm going to be launching that. And then here in the back, it comes with some extra note paper, not too many pages, but just enough. And I'm okay with that for right now. This is just, this is pretty much just for my side hustle. So that's planner number three. Okay, next planner up is going to be my commonplace notebook or my projects planner is what I like to call it. So I do have a weekly insert supplement from Hobonichi, but I'm not positive I'll use it. But I did already set it up, so it is what it is. And this is going to be my projects breakdown and commonplace book. So things that inspire me and projects that I want to break down more, I will put in here. So I have a little goals page already set up and everything. And basically this, and this is an A6 day free. I'm sorry that I didn't even say that at the beginning. And this is an A6 day free from Hobonichi. So you get your yearly at a glance, you get a calendex, um, and then you get your calendar pages all the way from December 2020 through March 2022. And then you just get basically all these grid pages. So I'll be using this for in things that inspire me. It's basically like a brain dump notebook. So that's what this is for. And this kind of works in tandem because like I can write whatever I want in here at any point in time and then I will put it in the appropriate planner later on, that kind of thing. So that's all the planners that I will be using in my home planning system. Next up is my on the go system. So this is a B6 Slim Jibun Techo. And this is my everyday carry planner. So anything that goes on in my life goes on in here. Um, minus like some financial things. Like I'll probably put like payday, but I won't put like a bill or something like that in here. Um, and this is basically where I just plan out my days or um, this is all pre-planned. None of this is like planned as I go. It's pretty much that it. Um, unless I want to like note something down for my Hobonichi because I do do plans. I'm going to be doing plan with me's in my Hobonichi. I'm hoping but um, Yeah, this is a pretty this is pretty uh, This was a lot when I first got it because I was just like this is so chunky for a planner And then I realized it comes with three booklets a life planner a life notebook a uh, Diary and then the idea book and I love this because of the hourly because it's 24 hours so basically you get all these like list pages at the front I'll do a more in-depth uh, review as well flip through of this planner you get a Gantt chart which I'll be using as a habit tracker and then you get your calendar pages that go all the way from December 20 from actually November 2020 all the way through March 2022 then you get your weekly spreads and then you get you don't get a whole ton of you don't get any note pages in here because you get a bunch of like info pages but then you get all these note pages in the idea booklet and then the life booklet is uh, just a bunch of lists and things that you use throughout your life and I love this because it just it's so compact and I could take it with me on the go this one is always something that I will have with me when I'm on the go next up in my everyday carry line is this little guy oh this is my week system I'm calling it the week system because it's two Hobonichi weeks stuffed into a print freshness weeks cover so actually the cover they're not actually slid in there because they won't fit really with this um, but this is a pink print freshness cover it's a TN cover 
Um, and uh, basically I have two weeks in here. I actually purchased this one first. This is the Mother Edition Hobonichi Weeks. And I use this basically to keep track of my expenses and anything that's happening. So I've written my bills in here already. And then in the weekly section, I will put any expenses, like things that I've purchased throughout the week. And then I have a paycheck breakdown over here or um, more of like shopping lists and things like that in on this right hand side and then I use this to do more notes or ideas for budgeting budgeting um, budgeting ideas savings plans that kind of thing so I'm very excited to use this as my expense tracker on the go and then I have here a the other Hobonichi weeks which is the Sesame Street edition and this is going to be my new wellness edition planner so last year I used a happy planner and it was just, it was big, but didn't have enough space for what I wanted it to do. So in here, I will be keeping track of basically anything health related, my food log, um, sleep intake. And I think I'll actually do a separate video on this just because I feel like it's just a lot more. Um, but this is what a weekly spread will look like for me. And I will go into more depth in a separate video, but this is for my wellness. And I basically just sit them in there and uh, put the elastic over and then it just goes in my purse like that and that's pretty much it. This one doesn't always come with me, sometimes it depends because this is more of like a nightly routine kind of. So this one could be in my purse if I wanted to, but if I don't need it, in my, but I don't always need it in my purse. So I'll most likely leave this on my bedside table to fill it out after I get home or at night. Okay, and that's pretty much it for my everyday carry list. Next up is my journaling uh, system. So I only have three journals in here. So we'll start off with this guy. This is my Hobonichi cousin, and this will be my new bullet journal. And this is strictly for memory keeping and for keeping track of productivity, that kind of thing. So just a quick, uh, just a quick walkthrough. This has a. I'm not sure if I'll do a full flip through of this just because it's like everyone knows what a cousin looks like. So this is the year at a glance. You get your calendar, which I will be using as a reference. So I will color code it and use it basically like the Lindsay Scribble method where you color code it and then you just write down what you wrote on that page and then you highlight it afterward or you highlight it and then you write it in. And then this has calendar pages from December 2020 all the way through March 2022. Then it goes into your weekly section, which I've already started using. And um, this will be used for memory, memory keeping, but mostly for, I like to keep track of what I do throughout the day to help make sure that I'm using my time wisely. Cause you know, there's sometimes where I could be, you know, editing a video or something of that nature and I just don't, and I don't know why, you know? So then next um, in this planner, you get the daily pages, which will be used for basically anything, journaling, memory keeping, collections, um, uh, things that inspire me, that will all go into these pages. I'm not really trying to lock this into anything, just nothing really about planning will go in here. This is strictly journal style. I'm not gonna make this into something like super, uh, rigorous because I want this to be fun and creative. So that's my Hobonichi cousin that I'll be using as my bullet journal this year. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Next up, I have here a Kinborn A5 daily planner, and this will be my new uh, uh, binge journal. And basically, you get your yearly overview. You get a calendex, and this I will just use as a reference as well. And then you get your monthly, which is actually exactly January 2021 through December 2021. And then you get your daily pages. And this is where I will be putting in movie tickets, uh, days when an episode of an anime comes out, when a TV show comes out, uh, books I'm reading, when I finish a book, when I start a book. Uh, playlists, all that will go in here. So I'm very excited to utilize this and I love my cookie monster. 
I also have the Cookie Monster cover, the furry one, so I might actually switch that over to that and then put this cover on my Hobonichi Cousin, just because I want the pink and blue to be kind of like a running theme, but anyway, more on that in another video, I guess. And this is my binge journal. Next up on my lineup for my journals is my uh, Hobonichi uh, 5 Year Techo. And this is an A6 size, and basically this will be just for daily journaling, gratitude, and highlights of my day. So I'm very excited to use this. Um, I am I was nervous at first, and that's why I didn't purchase an A5. Um, but I think this will be great for journaling, because it's not a whole lot of space, so I don't feel like anything crazy has to happen. And then the right hand side will just basically be for collaging and memory keeping. Um, I don't want to, like lock it down but I have seen people actually use the right hand page to kind of use it as a nine year journal because you could actually divvy up the spaces here and make it 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029 and if I decide that I don't want to fill these right hand pages with that with like collaging or anything like that I could actually turn this to, into a nine year journal which would be totally fine and totally I think economical just because you would be paying for basically almost two five-year journals with just use, utilizing that right-hand page. So I'm, I've been honestly thinking about it, but um, until I come up with something better, I might just use this as a nine-year journal, and it's just going to be my everyday journal. Okay, So that's it for my journals. And then lastly, this is something that is relatively new to my lineup. Well, kind of new to my planning system. This is my uh, authorship system. It's these two uh, guys right here, but we'll talk about this one first. This is a HB90 method goals planner, and this is basically geared towards uh, authors. And this is from Park Breathings or Sarah Cannon, if you've heard of her or you don't know much about her channel, I will link her down below as well as other YouTubers I've mentioned in this video. Um, so please make sure you check that down below. And then um, this, it, I only have half the year in here, but I might end up repunching this and putting this in a uh, Happy Planner big, just because I think I like the discount system a little bit better and I could just insert pages, remove pages as I see fit. But I just had this beautiful uh, folio binder, so I wanted to utilize this. And I didn't want it sitting on my shelf because it's not like I'm going back to school until the fall of 2021. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, but I am totally, I've already started using this. Um, I, this is the second, this is the next page. I've still got to finish. I've, that's, I've pretty much almost gone through about seven pages, eight pages. So, um, yeah, this is my goal setting planner for the for my for my authorship uh, section and then I have here another Nolte planner this is an A5 and this is the business basic diary and basically this has um, I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough it has like this cover page you can design it however you want um, and then it has a yearly overview uh, for 2020 through 2022 my yearly plan and I'm gonna do my word count here as well as some other things I want to keep up with um, and then you have your uh, calendar, and this goes all the way to, I believe, January 2021. Yep, 2022, I'm sorry. So this goes from December 2020 through January 2022. And this is where I'll be keeping track of deadlines. And then in the weekly section, you get all of this hourly space. And I might flip between using this as an hourly or using this as a checklist. But then you get all this space here, which you got to use for brain dump and um, any kind of brainstorming, ideas that pop into my head, character development, uh, the lore of the story, and all that. I want to include that so I can put it in these sections here. And then in the back, you get a handful of these, well, more than just a handful of these note pages, which I could use them for really anything. And um, yeah. So this will be helping me to keep track of deadlines and to kind of basically write my book. You know, I'm going to use this to help break down each chapter, 
um, each character, everything, and I actually do have a whole system for writing my book. So if you're interested in hearing about that kind of system that I've come up with, please let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your questions or any requests that you do have. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and just let me know down below in the comment section what are you using for your 2021 uh, planner lineup and journal lineup. And see you guys in the next video. Bye!